Welcome to the Touch Art Channel. Today we are going to get acquainted with a prominent Romanian artist and his unsurpassed paintings, mostly in the expressionist style. Iasef Iser is a name that is forever inscribed in the history of Romanian art, and even beyond. He was born on May 21, 1881 in the picturesque town of Ploiesti, where he received his secondary education and showed early creative promise. This master of the brush came a long and difficult way before leaving his indelible mark on the canvases of world culture. Iser was born into a Jewish family, and from an early age he learned how culture, religion and art are subtly intertwined, influencing the inner world of a person. His artistic soul began to blossom under the influence of his early interest in Expressionism. At a time when other artists were still finding their way, Iser was already making bold experiments with color and form. Creating drawings with sharp angles and clear, unsaturated lines. This style, though full of sharpness and drama, reflected his deep vision of life a sense of a world in which emotions burst forth through rough contours and rich brushstrokes. And yet, the young Iser was not content with just one school of thought. His artistic pursuits led him to Paris and Munich, where he studied with such masters as André Dürer. These cities became for him not only a place of study, but also a source of inspiration, opening up new horizons of European art. Now I would like to thank everyone who is watching this video, and I would also be very grateful for your likes and sharing it. I invite everyone to subscribe to the channel and join our community. Iasef Iser's youth was filled with a thirst for knowledge and a tireless search for his own artistic voice. In those years, art seemed to him something much more than just the skill of depicting the world on canvas. He sought to convey the depth of the human soul, with all its joys and sufferings, through every stroke of his brush. Iser took his first steps on this path in Munich, where he entered the Royal Academy of Arts in 1899. This city, with its rich cultural heritage and academic atmosphere, became an ideal environment for the young artist. Here he perfected his technique, studied the classical principles of painting, while not forgetting his passion for expressionism. After returning to Plosti in 1904, the artist organized his first solo exhibition. However, the greatest influence on him came from his subsequent years of study in Paris, a city where the most daring artistic ideas and trends meet. In Paris, Iser entered the Academy Rensen, where prominent artists such as André Dürer taught. It was a new immersion into the world of contemporary art, where he met such masters as Pablo Picasso and Juan Gris. They became not only his mentors, but also his comrades, with whom he searched for new ways of self-expression. In addition to painting, Iser also plunged into the world of political cartooning. He collaborated with socialist publications such as Facla and Adeveral, where his drawings became a sharp satire of Romanian political life. His cartoons were sharp, direct, and fearless, mocking the monarchy and social inequalities. This experience helped Iser to develop the ability to accurately convey people's characters through images, which later manifested itself in his painting. After returning to Romania in 1909, he organized the first exhibition of contemporary art at the Athenium Cultural Foundation, where he showed, in addition to his own works, various examples of André Dürer and the cartoonist Jean-Louis Foran. After 1920, Iasef Iser experienced an important turning point in his artistic development. His early works, full of harsh lines and sharp contours, gradually changed in favor of softer textures and brighter, more radiant colors. This transition became a symbol of his search for harmony between emotional expression and plastic elegance. A play of light and shadow appeared in his paintings, reflecting not only the outside world but also deep feelings and emotions. One of the key themes that emerged during this period was the depiction of Tatar families and individual residents of Dobruja, a region where Iser found inspiration in the everyday life of people. His series of Dobruja paintings became a kind of ode to this region and its people. In works such as Tatar Woman in Blue or Family of Tatars, Iser captures the simplicity and grandeur of these people's lives, their customs, religion, and connection to nature. The light in his works has acquired a softer, warmer hue, 
as a symbol of understanding and compassion for his subjects. No less important in his work was the theme of harlequins and clowns, images that occupied a central place in his work during his middle years. For Iser, these characters were more than just masks, they embodied the complexity of the human soul, the contrast between the outer mask and inner experiences. By depicting harlequins on canvas, Iser seemed to give a glimpse into his own world, the world of an artist who hides his emotions behind bright colors and moving figures. Although Iser was influenced by Cubism and Modernism during his time in Paris, he remained true to his unique style. His works were characterized by lyricism and post-impressionist notes. This combination gave his paintings a special shade, sophisticated and at the same time full of emotional tension. He stood up for individuality in a world that was rapidly changing under the influence of new artistic movements. His works remained full of life, light, and warmth, even as the world around him became increasingly complex and contradictory. Iasef Iser's travels became an inexhaustible source of inspiration that deeply influenced his artistic vision and style. Each trip opened up new horizons and cultures for him, and every landscape he saw left an imprint on his work. Traveling allowed him to collect unique impressions that were later embodied in his compositions, filling them with not only artistic but also cultural depth. Iser's first great muse was Dabragia, a land with a special light, bright colors and rich ethnic diversity. It was there that he discovered the life of the Tatar people, which inspired him to create a series of paintings that took his art to a new level. Further, his travels to France, Spain and the Middle East opened up new themes and interpretations for him. In France, Iser was fascinated by landscapes with their soft chiaroscuro, as in the French landscape, where every line seems to speak of the harmony between nature and man. In Spain, he was fascinated by the vivid contrasts and rich colors that broke through the hot atmosphere of the Mediterranean landscapes. Iser's travels not only expanded his technical capabilities, but also gave his works a deep symbolism and diversity. Each land and people he met left their mark on his art, making his works a reflection not only of nature but also of the very essence of human life in all its multicolored manifestations. Iasef Iser's professional career was full of significant achievements that cemented his name among the most prominent artists of his time. Each stage of his career was a testament to his tireless search for new ways of expression and his contribution to the development of Romanian and international art. One of Iser's first major recognitions on the world stage was his participation in the Secession Exhibition in Berlin in 1926. Participation in this landmark event not only demonstrated the high level of his artistic skill, but also put him on a par with the leading artists of Europe who were shaping new trends in world art. His works attracted the attention of the international public, which saw in them a combination of modernism and deep national roots, which was an important feature of his creative style. In 1937, at the International Exhibition in Paris, Iser won another significant victory, receiving the high prize along with the famous Romanian artists Gheorghe Petrasu and Stefan Popescu. This award was a testament to his significant contribution to art not only in Romania, but also in the global context. In Paris, one of the centers of world art, his works were recognized for their innovation and artistic sophistication. An important milestone in the artist's life was his election as a full member of the Romanian Academy in 1955. This was not only a recognition of his enormous contribution to art, but also a symbol of his role in the development of Romanian culture. His art, which was influenced by various European trends, remained deeply national in its spirit and themes, enriching the Romanian artistic environment. Iasef Iser was not just an artist, but one of those who shaped the tastes and preferences of the Romanian public. His works, presented at numerous exhibitions in Romania and abroad, opened new horizons for the perception of contemporary art, combining tradition and innovation. His journey is the story of a man who, despite all the challenges, left an invaluable mark on the art world. Even in difficult times, when Europe was in the midst of World War II, Iasef Iser did not stop his artistic activity. Despite the political challenges and anti-Jewish persecution, 
he remained faithful to his art, continuing to participate in exhibitions both in Romania and abroad. One of these important events was the Light and Color Exhibition in 1943, where Iser exhibited his work alongside leading Romanian artists Gheorghe Petrasu and Alexandru Cucurincu. This was a kind of evidence that his art, despite the difficulties of the time, was of great importance. After the war, Iser continued to actively exhibit his works on the international scene. His paintings were exhibited in New York, 1948. At the Venice Biennale, 1954, in Moscow and Leningrad, 1956, and in Vienna, 1957. These exhibitions cemented his status as one of the most influential Romanian artists of his time and helped spread his work far beyond his homeland. One of the most important events in the later years of the artist's life was a large retrospective exhibition organized in 1955 on the occasion of his 75th birthday. The exhibition, which included 388 paintings and drawings, summarized his multifaceted career and confirmed his influence on Romanian art. His achievements became a source of inspiration for a new generation of artists who sought to combine national traditions with modernist trends. The legacy of Iasef Iser is not only his works that remain in museums and private collections, but also his influence on contemporary Romanian art. He played an important role in shaping the tastes of the public, broadening their perception of contemporary art. Thanks to his work, the Romanian public began to better understand and appreciate new artistic movements such as modernism and expressionism, his soft landscapes, vivid portraits, and rich colors remain alive in the memory of Romanian culture, conveying the eternal themes of human life and nature. Iser not only created art, he helped shape a new aesthetic that has become an integral part of Romanian cultural identity. His legacy continues to live on, influencing the artistic environment to this day, inspiring new generations of artists to find their own unique voice. Art channel and the work of Romanian artist Iasef Iser. We hope you enjoyed the artist's paintings and subscribe to our channel to be in the community of true art lovers. Thank you.